frame ripper is ripped. So this is my streaming PC and in it is a Threadripper 1950X. When I stream to Twitch, I have a gaming PC and all the video gets fed to this, which renders that video and spits it out to Twitch. And in it is a Threadripper 1950X. And I gotta say, this thing is an absolute monster. I'm very satisfied with the performance of this PC. However, there's a major problem. It's overheating like crazy. In it, I have a Enermax Lictec 360 CPU cooler, and it would appear that this cooler is failing. So, did a little research online. Apparently, it's a pretty common issue for this cooler. Uh, the radiator is made out of aluminum. The base plate that cools the CPU is made out of copper. And apparently, there's a galvanic corrosion issue with these coolers. The fluid they use doesn't seem to resist that galvanic corrosion. That's, that's what I understand from reading online. For me, all I know is that my CPU is getting really hot, it's downclocking itself, and when I touch these tubes when it's running, one of them is extraordinarily hot, like way too hot, and the other one is ice cold. So it's just not getting the job done. It's not transferring the heat off of the CPU, getting it to the radiator fast enough. So we're going to replace it. Um, and while I'm doing that, I've got a couple of other upgrades I want to do as well. This PC is kind of on the loud side. Now, the whole point of building this PC was to make a powerful PC that was also very quiet because obviously I've got a microphone on, I'm recording, I want to keep my office as quiet as possible. It didn't really work out with this PC. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. Now, I did go with a Fractal Design R6. Uh, that is doing a fairly decent job, but there's very little airflow into and out of this PC or this case. So what that means is I have to run the fans a little harder, which means they make a little more noise. So we're gonna try and solve that today. So two things we're gonna try and solve, fixing the cooler and making the entire PC quieter. To achieve this, I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. The first is a new CPU cooler. It's a Noctua NHU14STR4SP3. This is a, another Noctua cooler, and you guys may know that I've used Noctua coolers in a lot of PCs in the past, and frankly, they just haven't let me down, and they run very quietly. So. When it came time to replace this $140 cooler, I looked to Noctua and bought this $80 cooler, and we're gonna give it a shot. Now, the thing about this cooler is it's actually smaller than the one I use on my Intel i7-8700K, which is only a six core processor. This has a lot more than that. So we're gonna see, can this smaller CPU cooler actually cool this enormous processor? We're gonna have to wait and see. Now about the case being too loud, I've got a new a few more tricks from Noctua, some case fans. So these are the Chromax fans. These are 140 millimeter fans from Noctua and they're not the brown and tan fans that you might be used to. They're actually uh, black fans and they come with these tabs on them uh, and you can customize the color of these tabs so you can kind of suit them to look how you want. So that's the goal for today. We're hoping to end up with a cool PC that runs quieter than it does now, and let's get started.
right, so we have finished our upgrade. The new CPU cooler is installed. The new fans are installed. Hopefully what this relates to is a quieter and cooler PC. So let's see how it worked out. And we're back. The computer is booted up. I ran ADA64, a stress test for about 30 minutes just to make sure everything was working good. And I gotta say, I'm really happy with today's outcome. Uh, so when I ran ADA64 for 30 minutes, my maximum temp was 63 degrees on the CPU. That's about where I was with the Enermax liquid cooler. And I gotta say, I'm really happy because not only am I about at the same temperatures, but the computer is now running much quieter. So with the Enermax, I had the 360 model, which had three 120 millimeter fans lined up at the front of the case, pushing air through the radiator. Uh, and then a 240 millimeter fan in the back of the case, pulling hot air out. With the new setup, I got the two Noctua's, 240 millimeter Noctua's at the front of the case, another 240 at the back of the case, and then a 240 just blowing air through the air cooler. I'm getting the same temps, but the the PC is much, much quieter. It is whisper quiet under load, and I am really happy about that. It was unexpectedly quiet. At idle, it doesn't make any noise. It, it makes very little noise. Inaudible. Under load, it is whisper quiet. Running 8 to 64 for 30 minutes. Honestly, I had a Mac across the room uh, pulling video off an iPhone, and that was making more noise across the room than the computer doing a stress test right next to me. So I'm really excited about that. As far as the Enermax cooler goes, I'm really disappointed. That thing was only six to eight months old. Uh, for it to fail this early is really disappointing to me. That was not a cheap cooler. I want to say it was $140 or $150. Uh, it performed well for you know the first five, six months of its life, but... To have it fail so quickly is really disappointing. Unfortunately, I was not able to RMA it. I have lost the receipt. So I, I just don't have a proof of purchase to go through their warranty process, which that's my fault. That's not their fault. Uh, although since the cooler is less than two years old, it seems like they could kind of figure out a way to help me out there. But w whatever. It, it's just disappointing that it failed so early. One of the nice things about going with an air cooler and why I've been so happy with the Noctua's that I've had in the past is, you know, you just don't get failure. There's no moving parts except for the fan. And if a fan goes, you can just run to like the local Best Buy and get a fan real quick to replace it. Uh, or you can order one off of Amazon. It's, it's a much easier thing and fans kind of just last a long time. Uh, whereas the water coolers have a lot more points of failure. You have to... Uh, have the pump running, the pump needs to not get clogged, it needs to not have galvanic corrosion in it, you have a radiator that can't get clogged, you have the fans running, pushing air through the radiator, there's just more points of failure, and the failure can be a lot more ca catastrophic. With how hot that tubing was getting, I was really concerned, I didn't want to turn on the computer at all, I was really concerned that I was going to spring a leak, and I don't want to spring a leak in you know an expensive computer, so... With air cooling, once again, you know, it's just there's less points of failure. And if I do have a failure, like if a fan dies, it's not going to spray water all over my computer. So, you know, there is there are reasons to water cool and water cooling is very cool. Uh, but man, for just wanting to be up and running and quiet, it's hard to beat the air cooling right now. So that's going to do it. I'm very I'm very satisfied. I'm very excited with how this went today. Um, the, the PC ended up being cooler, quieter, and just a better PC overall. Uh, and that's got me very happy. It's actually a better PC than it was before the failure. And that's pretty cool. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you got any questions about any part of this video, leave them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to answer them. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.